I recently heard a quote from Expedition Overland that spoke to me. Escaping the world by stepping into it. Pretty much sums up my philosophy with trips like this one. Striking out with those of the family who wanted to go, I creatively packed the truck. Well, I had to get a little creative there with the space, but I think we'll make it. Problem is we'll have a full load in the back here with two kids, a dog, and another kid in a bow. Those going on this trip were the twins, Emmett and Ashton. Are you guys excited? Yes! My oldest son, RJ, and the dog, Luna. Are you gonna go too, dummy? Hmm? You sunning yourself out here? It's so bloody hot. How can you do that? I sat down with RJ and Emmett to show them the plan. And then sometimes we'll camp back here. That's when we we'll go for that. One was a little more interested in the planning the process than the other. But I want to do this loop. See that big long road? But I know there's a river crossing right here. But with that trailer, I don't know. So what I'm thinking is right now we take the trailer in here. And then I've got a couple of spots in here picked out. And then some fishing some bow shooting, some BB gun shooting. Fishing! So that is the plan. Ah. Okay. I hooked up the trailer and said goodbye to my wife. Goodbye. Love you. I love you too. We'll see you in a few days. Oh. Take care of my pup and my boys. Hey, okay. Ashton and Emma, are you guys excited? Yes! <laughs> yeah! After some travel time, we hit the dirt roads. We have reached our destination, or at least the uh, off-roading part, so most of this road ought to be pretty good. We're gonna head to an area, though, that I've never been, so we'll see how that goes. Do you guys remember coming here before? Yeah, I remember when we went hiking with our cousins there. You know that I've been here since I was a little boy? Yeah. Yeah, probably about your age, actually. Did you know you guys have been coming up here since you were babies? We're gonna go to a new area. We're gonna go check it out. But it's a wide out place, mm -hmm. so that's why you, I remembered it because I saw the little fun curvy road. The area has changed over time, and I lament how popular it has become. My wife and I used to come here long before even the kids were around. And uh, over the years, we've noticed an interesting phenomenon. One, this place has become a lot more popular, this basin. Uh, certainly a lot more people come to it. But what we're finding is that a lot of people will come up and bring their trailers and then drop the trailers off and then leave the trailers up here for weeks. So sometimes it's actually hard to find spots. And uh, so what we're doing, because we've got this pop-up, it's not the most mobile as uh, some of like the overland trailers are, but it's certainly a lot more mobile than to go the other extreme, a fifth wheel. So we have uh, some other opportunities that we can get in there a little bit further that we're going to give a shot this go around. Traveling these elevations this time of the year, there is always a gamble. Even though it has been a light winter compared to most, we hit our first obstacle. So I was concerned about this, is the snowpack, and uh, <laughs> if we'd run into this. So we might have to go back down and find another spot. Completely different area than what I wanted. There's no way I'm going to get the trailer over that. That's going to get me stuck for sure. But I just walked around. Uh, we should be able to make it through there. It's pretty muddy. But uh, I think the truck can do it with the trailer. If not, I'll have that guy help pull me out. <laughs> so 
So the plan is, is we'll go through this muddy area because I think we can get around. I just always got to think twice before going, going through certain areas because I don't want to get stuck. That is our first hurdle done. We will see what else is in store. And other than that, the road's been pretty good. Ultimately, it didn't matter where we ended up. I just wanted to create a fun, memorable experience for the kids with dad. That said, I'm still aiming to get back into that country I've never been before. But for this trip, Memories and experiences are most important. Now if only I can find a spot.